oh no, what's going on? What have I, what have I walked into? I just screamed it so hot. Yo, is it pizza time, dude? Pizza. 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 It's now just a, a koiba mukbang. <laughs> nice. Oh, however, has been. however, the molten lava of which is the cheese in that pizza. Oh, oh baby. You burn your fucking roofy I mouth. took a small bite. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of minutes, I think. Immediately got it out the oven. Instant yeah. tips of break. Expected no, it was like it was like heat. thirty seconds between <laughs> taking off the thing, cutting it, and cutting it out here. Thirty whole seconds, dude. Wow. God damn. Wow, wow we we were. Uh... Alrighty. Sounds like a clever thing. What's up, Shatter? Hey gamers, welcome to Dungeon Discourse. Today we've got Bell. We've got Koiba, or as I like to call him. Oh. Chaos Crew is here for uh, for. This I think course. it's idiot. Yeah. I think with all three of us together, it's idiot freak loser. But you know, idiot yeah. freak loser, and you guys can figure out who's who. Who's who? Um, spoiler alert! I'm all three. <laughs> true, true, true. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about the last episode or last session, whatever you want to call it, uh, where the party got to Strathmore finally and did some exploring there, hung around, had a beach day, chilled, played some gambling. Uh, had some drinks, some fucking random drinks. Uh, uh, it's a good old time. Actually, for, actually, an anime beach episode didn't go tits up. It's crazy. Which it's possible. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, last time you guys had a proper anime beach episode, the party almost split up. So <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a beach episode. It was just a bar episode. <laughs> Same yeah, thing, man. We were just in a tavern. Yeah, but this time you actually had a beach though, and the beach was it was, it was good. It's good. It's good. Nice. Um, before we get into anything, I have to make some announcements. Um, this weekend, we'll have, obviously, on Sunday, Dungeon Select. But also, this Saturday, on Laura's channel, we're doing Session 2 of the Call of the Deep campaign, which I'm a player in. Laura DMs. Uh, some other familiar faces, like Bowdy and Ismera, who have been on the Dungeon Select channel before. We're, we're playing that on Laura's channel. The first session... Insane view count and is doing really good on YouTube as well. So show us some love there. If you want to watch us play D and D and me not DM for once, it's a good time. It's a good time. So that's gonna be uh, Saturday at noon Eastern, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly confident in saying that. And then Sunday, obviously, two p.m. Eastern. Dungeon Select. Um, do you guys have anything you want to announce? Um, no. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Very I don't good. think so. Okay. Uh, at some point, maybe this year, there might be another Koi Bar and G stream. Wow! Dude, did you save that for, like, the next charity you fucking campaign? I mean, it probably will be <laughs> at the next charity. Uh, let's be real, it'll probably be Winter uh, Select. I want, you to be run another, one. I want you to run another one shot during the next, like, charity thing. So just, yep. uh, just so that we can, just nothing with ducks, please. That'd be great. So what you're saying is a different uh, well, geese, for example. Like no, 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 no. Pot of pie. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Take take the platypus. They don't quack though, do they? They they they, they do. No, that they fucking... like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They like hum. I can't do the noise. So how about instead it, it's dogs? Just a bunch of dogs. Just a bunch of dogs, dude. I'm dogs. walking here. Oh, dude. I'm a, walking here. A D and D one shot set in New York City in like the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> how did you? I could fucking scrap that plan now. Fuck sake. All right. What's this surprise? All right. Sorry guys. Sorry. Spoiled it. Yeah, but I actually, I'll actually do a battle royale this time instead of just lying. Dude, it's fucking Bapo idea. gave me a really cool idea for like a charity battle royale thing. Oh I don't know if you guys were watching or the chat yeah. during DS last uh, session. Yeah. But Bapo was like, what if you make it like a Hunger's game thing so people can donate to charity to just give players like care packages so they can find and shit like That'd that. That'd be cool. And oh, I was like, I was yeah. like, dude, I'm writing that down because I'm, I'm fucking doing that. I'm doing <laughs> that next down. charity. When you <laughs> say you're doing that, I'll DM it. And you can whatever, it. it's whatever. But we, we as a collective are doing that because that is doing such it. a Hell cool yeah. fucking idea. Like proper Hunger Games, so people can donate to charity and basically to say, I there's really a, a care package lands in front of Koiba's yeah. or, or, or Bell's character yeah. that has one magic item in it or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Something like that. I've had some weird really ideas. Cool. Really cool. Like, I've had some weird ideas for some one shot things. Like, 
a but like I want to do an adventure where you guys don't know what your characters are and you have to kind of work it out oh, as you dude. go. Oh, dude, that'd be shit sick. Like that. That'd be sick. That'd be like, sick. Shit, that, like I'll have all the character sheets and I'll just be like, you guys can tell me what you want to play roughly, and I'll kind of try and fit something. And I'll uh, that, like, yeah. So basically, we're like we get in combat or whatever, and I'll be like, I'll like try spell. and cast Sacred Flame, and yeah. then and you, I'll can be like, be, you can be like, nope. I'll be like, I can <laughs> say no. Or if you have a cantrip that's similar, like Fireball, I'll be like. You think it's Sacred Flame, but actually it's, you know, because I don't want to fuck cool. people over, that is you know, it's cool. that like, they if they try a spell, it'll be a different spell, for example. Yeah, like, it's not, like, I'm not going to make you waste your turn. Rolling an investigation check and you'll just be like, here's your bonus for that smile. Good luck. Yeah, you know literally, I mean? I'll give you, I'll tell you what your bonus is. That is that's, that's, that's a cool idea, dude. I fuck with that. Heavy. Just, you just get like a, you see a fellow orc and you're like, I'm an orc. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally, it'll be wake up. It'll be like the first thing you guys will do will probably describe, like I'll be describing what you see of other people and people will have to try and work out what they are. That is cool, dude. I fucking it's love a that. Really cool, it's a really cool idea. I've been, I need to find out if I want to do it as a bow or if I want to do it as like an actual adventure. I haven't decided. I think that I'm... would be more fun than an adventure style setting, I think. That's what I'm thinking. I'm 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 I'm, I'm trying to basically gonna workshop it into an adventure. There you go, that's my announcement. I'm gonna be I'm workshopping yes. some some yes. one shot ideas for awesome, the awesome, awesome, channel. Awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Um, all in the back burner. <laughs> okay, uh, YouTube's up to date. Thanks to Bell. The thumbnail is wrong, yeah. but you know, whatever. I guess. Smile. What did you fix Listen, that already? Okay. Or is that still not a thing you can fix? It's still. I don't have my laptop. It's oh, broken. you don't have like access to. I don't have access. To, like all my hard drives are for Apple computers. So oh. at some point, I will have to go into uni where they have other MacBooks and Macs and YouTube's cringe. And okay. Fair enough. So, is that Dutch fix the thumbnail? No. I'll ruin it. <laughs> yeah. It's a thumbnail, exactly. dude. Alrighty. Um, before we get into uh, the talk show side of things, let's do a quick little recap of last session. You guys made it to Strathmore, explored a city, a port city, with uh, a lot of their main source of, of income and like their main contribution to the province is their fishing exploits. Um, beautiful beach, some shops. Um, you know, a, a large, the largest harbor in the province, uh, with with a couple dozen ships anchored there at all times, pretty much. Um, but also some shady stuff going on in the slums of the city, for instance. And you you heard some rumors of of oh, are you potential invest? You know, the the captain of the guards there is doing some investigation into the slums because there's this like mob boss type individual that is running that shit and extorting people and whatever the fuck and uh, you picked up some information on the potential quests that you could do for the three sisters who run the magic shop because their artificer who gives them all of their magic supplies um, has gone radio silent for, for a couple weeks now which is very out of the norm. So some things that you could potentially follow up on to keep busy the next few days while you're waiting for uh, Captain Vera and her ship to arrive. Um, so I'm excited to see what you guys end up going doing for the next couple of days uh in game it's gonna be fun you guys had some drinks you guys um some of you recognized one of the the tavern workers at the red fleet um played a played a bunch of uh probably a few gambling games after uh you know the lock-in happened as as, uh, as you call it and um did a bunch of random drinks that that had random effects, like hearing someone's surface thoughts for the next five minutes, or burping fire, or just going crazy for a few minutes after you've consumed it. Shit like that. Just fun, innocent banter. It was a good time. It was it was chill. It was relaxed. I I enjoyed it very much. Just kind of fucking around and just kind of yeah. I had a good time. I um, loved it. Yeah. Uh, let's just get into what did you guys think of of, of the, the episode, especially. Com Given we've 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 had some pretty like a lot of pretty like rough stuff happen as of late, so just have a have a session of proper winding down. It was so good to have a breather for a bit <laughs> and like not be attacked at all times. Elasman fucking needed it, <laughs> <laughs> and even then, I, don't th I think he also didn't need it. It's one of those scenes where he'd rather be doing something because having that idle time is like, this is nice. <gasps> oh god! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The PTSD hits. That's just like, 
<laughs> yeah, I always, I'm very scared to do sessions like that because I'm always very scared, like, what if it's boring? You know what I mean? But I do also understand that every once in a while you need a session like that to kind of just chill and wind down and kind of collect your thoughts about, like, okay, what the fuck have we actually done so far and yeah. what can we do next? What's up next? Um, shit like that. So I, I, I understand that sessions like that are necessary from time to time, but I also, at the same time, I'm like, dude, what if it's boring? What if they're, what if they're bored? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's boring. It's boring. You, know? you can't like ex like you can't expect every session to be a banger True. after doing hundreds and hun you know we're close coming up to close to like 150 episodes if we've, not. Uh, we've, we've, we've done a lot. You know, all those hours of content, you can't expect every minute, second hour no. to be entertaining. There will be Wait, lols. Can I check there will how be many hours of DS we have total. Uh, well, I can't. I couldn't even find like collections. Well, I can oh. check because. Campaign 2 is a total of 153 hours and 25 minutes so far. Mm -hmm. And then Campaign 1... Uh, I don't even find the VODs for like the second half of Campaign 1. Campaign 1... Easily, easily double that. Triple yeah, exactly. that. Triple that. And triple. But yeah, like on this... On this channel alone, <clears throat> since it's... When was the first session oh, streamed? August 16th. Last year. Oh, coming up on a year anniversary on the DS channel as well. We yeah. really are. Literally, literally mm -hmm. in two weeks. Ha! Huh, look at that. Yeah. In two weeks, it will be Dungeon Select's, like, this channel's first birthday. Aw, cute. Mm -hmm. Cute. Which also means that that's the one year anniversary of Campaign 2. No, because we had this channel for ages before. No, I'm, I'm watching here. Dungeon Select Campaign 2 Session 1 was streamed on Oh, August you're right. You're right, it was August 16th. Yeah, Holy so fuck. we're coming up to the one year anniversary of campaign two. Dude, literally time has gone by quick, man. Literally two two weeks time. What the fuck? And we're, we've missed a lot of sessions this time around. Well, we you are... say that, but if we don't miss the next two, we'll be at 40 out of 52, which is still not bad. Oh, that's not too bad, actually, 12. It's still not bad. It's 12 sessions, that's not too bad, 12 weeks. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, Shadow. Campaign 2, Session 1, Deadly Festivities went live on August 16th, 2021. I'm, I'm, looking, at, I'm looking at it here, dude. So yeah, that's crazy. Which will yeah, also be on. our yeah. fourth anniversary? In September, it will yeah. be... In September, right? Our, be our fourth? Our fourth. Yeah, fourth. Or, no, no, fourth, third? Yeah. Fourth. 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 2018, right? When we started? Yeah, because yeah, I, I was 18. Dude, God, you were crazy. You were 18. Baby. God, you're, you're such a youngin. So yeah, yeah. four-year anniversary you in were September, like an actual and child. then one-year anniversary of Campaign 2 in August. That's crazy, bro. What the fuck? That's fucking mental. Holy shit. <laughs> That's wild. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, but this was, I think, as far as Campaign 2 goes, it was like the first real downtime session where absolutely... N You've had some more chill sessions this campaign, but... This was the first session where genuinely fucking nothing yeah, we've happened. Had some travel, we've had some travel episodes and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. But it's crazy, yeah. uh, dude. That's wild. I need to make sure to, to remember that. Mm. Like, keep it in, like write that down in the DS chat somewhere and be like, "Hey right guys, down. by the way, camping two one anniversary in two weeks." Smile. Uh, mm. <laughs> that's crazy. What's the wait? Sixteenth, right? Yeah. So I guess so the fourteenth is the one that's before would be the session before our anniversary. Yeah. So the fourteenth will be like the one year anniversary session, I guess. Mm -hmm. Cool. Fucking, that's insane. Uh, for the for the four year anniversary, I want to do something special. By the way, I think for the four year anniversary, it's time. It's been a, it's been a, at that point. It'll be. I'll, I'll make the announcement now. Fuck it. I've decided that for the four year anniversary, uh, it's been over a year since you've last touched your campaign one characters. It's time to bring those back. And we're gonna do a one shot, a post campaign one shot of campaign one. Fucking my there's a, a lot of choices. And there's like I have like five or six choices of like plot mm -hmm. ho plot hole or plot hooks that haven't fully been ventured through yet. My boy. But uh, so that's gonna be um, that's gonna be happening in September somewhere when the four year anniversary is. We'll we'll bring out our campaign one get up uh, another time and uh, do one of those one shots to kind of. Cool. I have to remember Katana's voice and how to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I talked to some people so glad in the group. Easy, <laughs> 50 anniversary LDM bet, so called bet. Lies. <laughs> so yeah, so that's uh, something. I uh, I still I haven't I I I've, I'm debating a couple of, of different scenarios or like different 
because um, I wrote down in like a, a Word document all like um, unresolved plot points of campaign one or the campaign one characters. I'm just, I'm just gonna randomly pick one and be like, okay, that's what we're doing. Uh, I think that's a fun idea. It's like on like the 40th yeah. anniversary, it's like you know, it's been mm -hmm. over a year since we've last seen those characters. Bring those back for 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 a session, and the week after, get back into campaign two, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought that was a, a fun idea. Um, one of the new segments that we've added since we kind of like relaunched Discourse is a segment that I like to call D and D Tweet of the Week, where we're gonna just look at a tweet that I found. We're gonna talk about it, and uh, this one. Is more of like a question to you, but if you're in chat and you have some experience with this, feel free to chime in as well. Um, me when my DM says my character feels a bloodthirsty stare while hunting in the forest, and then it's like a gif of fucking Judge Ooh. Judy rolling her eyes, right? Which kind of makes me want to ask you, is there anything that I as a DM say that sparks a similar reaction? Just any random perception check. Just, it's like, oh, here we go. Perception yeah. check. <laughs> no. Um, it's just like, I need these people to roll perception check, or it's that. They don't seem, actually, never mind. I'm like, roll a history check. <laughs> it's also one. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, but roll a history check, I'll only, pretty much only say if someone asks me, do I know what this is? So, like, you, you cause, yeah. cause like, an effect, I'll motherfucker. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I feel like I, I say the um the classic as far as you can tell. I feel yeah. like that's I feel like that's a good one. That's a good one where people just go. <sighs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's that's one of my personal favorites to, to throw in there because you know, because I can say that when you guys you roll on a perception check. I'm like yeah, as far as you can tell. But that could like either that, that could check. literally that means I that doesn't mean shit. When you know the you lying know? blunt face, but like. Your character doesn't, and you, and you hit me with the fucking, you know, as far as you can tell, they're not lying. Or like, you know, it's, it's they're hard to read. I'm like, I fucking know they're lying. I know. <laughs> yeah, roll better, forehead. As <laughs> I'm there with like my advantage roll on this inside check, I have like plus eight too, and it's like, I rolled nine. <laughs> Just roll higher, dumbass. It's not that hard, man. I'll roll, I'll roll right now, and I'll bet you it'll be fucking 12 or higher, all right? You want to fucking no, bet? it's going to be it's literally you're getting 11, easy. exactly. It was a three. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> anyway. There is a goal. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Come on, man. I really couldn't have had that, dude. Oh, fuck off. Um, That's fine. I'll roll. I'll get, I'll get it. Go on. Well, my dice is on the right order! Who cares? <laughs> what do you have? So many dice. <laughs> I also rolled a three. <laughs> nice, my man! Up top! Uh, Bell's gonna roll and be like, I rolled a natural 20. You fucking cheating bitch. You rolled a three? Yes, did. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Terror. Um. Yeah, so I thought that was a funny tweet that I wanted to bring up and uh, just have a little, have a little banter about. Um, Roll two shatter, Jesus Christ, dude! How about you guys, chat? Uh, for those that that are that are D and D players, have you guys any any like D DM quotes that that make you just kind of like, uh, you know? Feel free to share. I'm, I'll happily I'll happily discuss and. Uh, I'll move up the hand. I don't believe it. Hmm? I'll move that 20. She takes a picture. She just moved it. Say 20. <laughs> this bit. Bit. We're gonna, bit we're gonna rig fucking like 24, 24 Listen, hour, like, video deal, cameras in Bell's it's, room. It falls through. Annoyingly, I didn't have the foresight to make it apply to digital dice as well. So. You mean digital dice that, you know, can't. I don't want to say mine because you'll do it more <laughs> just to spite me. True. true. That is true. Not necessarily quotes, but those DMs who do all the roles for the players instead of letting the players play. That's a thing? Yeah. Oh, there's... what? That's yeah, a there thing? Are oh. there are DMs who, like, you'll say, can I make an investigation check and the DM will roll um, and let you know. It is cringe. That's what? That's so lame. What the fuck? <laughs> I hold many dice to accept that. Oh, same. 
That is, yeah, no, no, no fucking, I would never tell you guys that I'll roll, smile, what the fuck, that's, that's... I mean, the only time you would roll, dumb as heck. Actually, no, even then, even when we're, like, mind-controlled or, like, under whatever, you would still make us roll and be mm -hmm. like, I'll tell you, I won't tell you what yeah, you're adding, but you, you just tell yeah, me to roll. you roll and I'll tell you what that means, kind of thing, you know what I mean? Exactly. But I'll still yeah. let you guys roll, you know? Yeah. Um, all right. Next up, we're gonna discuss some uh, some questions that got submitted through the Discord, which you can oh, do, yeah. by the way, guys, for every discourse. There's a, a channel in the Discord where you can submit questions that you would like the cast uh, to answer and, and all that stuff. <clears throat> you can't cast a spell in this room because you'll get counterspelled every single time. What? That's a... Oh, um, I hate it. I mean, that's... I mean, there are situations where that could apply but that would require like a fuckload of wizards to, or mages that would all know counterspell and all use a reaction. You know, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of variables for that to be a possibility in a D&D &D session or a fight or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> Imagine if that was on him trying to cast Revivify. <laughs> I'm saying this now. If you counterspell me doing a, an important Revivify, at some point in this campaign, and it is like the last diamond I have. I swear to fucking god, I am uninstalling Discord. <laughs> I mean, listen, dude, listen, listen. I won't say I wouldn't do that because it no, all no. depends on. It all depends. I, I expect one river fight to get cancelled at some point in this campaign. I can live with that. But I swear to fuck, if I'm on my last shitting diamond, <laughs> our last spell slot, and I do it, and I have a choice, and I do it, and you go. I'm gonna fucking uninstall Discord, dude. <laughs> I, that's that's that, it, con context matters in that case, man. Like, if it is some, if if you're fighting like a smart individual, which classes with access to counterspell are naturally pretty intelligent most of the times. Um, like no, I want someone dumb as a fucking brick. Smart, counting smart, smart, spell. smart <laughs> enough to know when and when not to use it, and they're really like spiteful towards you. It might happen, man. That's you know fucked. what I mean? Like, that's fucked. You're fucked in the head, bro. You're fucked like, in the head. Like, <laughs> for instance, you're fighting this, like, big bad wizard, right? And... I know it makes sense. It's still not being fucked. They've managed to get... To, to, to kill Brooks. Because, I and, and they, Brooks. And, nah, yeah, no, 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 fucking hypo hypotheticals. Um, and, and Brooks has been fucking butchering the fuck out of them. And they were like, fuck you, you're dead, cunt. Right? Power were kill, boom, you're dead. Fuck you. Right? And they see you go to revivify, and they recognize it. Why would they not stop you? If they have the the, the, the capability to. You know lame. Because it's lame. Fuck okay, you. it's lame. Fuck lame and dumb and lame. It's expensive, dude. Lame, dumb, lame. Lame. <laughs> Fuck lame, dumb, you. Lame. Anyway, we got some questions submitted. Uh, a couple here by Sassy. Uh, what's your character's favorite colors? Teal. Teal. That's such a sassy question. <laughs> love that is it. a very sassy question. Yeah. Uh, that's a very sassy question. I, I can't, that's difficult, because, like, a lantern isn't one who would pick certain colors over another in the sense of just, like, Gold. he doesn't really care. Yeah, I mean, it probably would be, like, either, like, deep emerald or, like, gold. Yeah, let's be real. Like, or maybe, like, an obsidian. That that's, might be his jam. But he doesn't, he doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> that's the problem. He doesn't, like... It, it's like good, cool, Man. whatever. What, what, a, what a boring motherfucker, dude. Yeah. I mean, he wears a lot of blue. <clears throat> a he real does wear blue a lot is of blue. Yeah. blue is his house colors, but like also he wants to like step away from that quite a lot. So he's just like. And then I make everything to do teal. with the last room blue. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> In the thumbnails and everything. This, this, the thumbnail. The last room's color on this thumbnail is gonna be blue. Yeah, you know, I mean, blue is his like his house color. But so like you know he he likes it for that, but also like you know mm. he sort of goes I've everything in my life's been fucking blue, dude. <laughs> I'm just kind of sick of that color. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> uh, and to me, what was the most fun thing to prepare for last episode? I enjoyed. Um, I always like thinking of NPCs that are fun and interesting. Like for instance, the, like the like triplets, the triplet sisters that run. That magic shop and they kind of like all have the same you know happy giddy and cheery and they're all kind of like sound the same they look the same and then in conversations 
at some point or another, they'll always, all three, suddenly just be there and kind of like yap into each other while yapping. It's funny, funny meme. Um, I had a lot of fun preparing the Red Fleet and like the lore behind the Red Fleet and, and who runs it and who works there and like what they do and the gambling, like that whole thing. And the fact that like the owner of the Red Fleet uh, to Jax is someone that rings a bell because of his piratey background, shit like that. I, that was a lot of fun. Um, I also had a really, a lot of fun, something that you haven't really dealt with yet, but got like some crumbs of, uh, is, uh, the slums and the way that's like, yes, it's governed by the blue sentinels, but in reality it is like owned by a mob boss that just extorts and, and, and rules those streets with fear and has been like a, the mortal enemy of the general, one of the generals of the blue sentinels that runs, uh, Strathmore and that shit, oh dude. Love that. And it, that is definitely something that um, will come, come up again at some point. And there's definitely possibility there for the party as well to kind of take that as like a side quest arc to go on at some point. Uh, the crew joins the mob. It's going to be, that's going to be a lot of fun. And I've also prepared a little bit of Halivara's Tower because Halivara's Tower, the, the like artificer that, that y'all um, mm. may or may not go look up uh, next session. That tower is gonna be like a, uh, like a proper like old school like wizard's tower kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Like you have to go, you, you start from the bottom, you have to go up a few floors, and there's gonna be puzzles and traps and all that shit. It's gonna be fun. Like I prepared that already, but like that's that's gonna be fun as well. <clears throat> um, we also have some questions submitted by uh, Broken Ass Man, aka Sir Duke Thirty Three, <laughs> uh, for Koiba. That's me. Now Valor is safe and sound. Does the Lazarin feel any more secure in the day to day? No, um, he very much, um, I wouldn't say he feels like, like he eats more relaxed in the sense of he doesn't have this worry with Valor in the like actively being tortured, yeah, actively being tortured. <laughs> he still worries, he's now he does still have that worry about his family, it's still very much there, um, even though he thinks it's probably gonna be fine. But like, man, this man's That's been be through a, banger, a fucking dude. He has been through a lot, and That's as we see, he is he is processing this. Mm -hmm. Now that it's quite pretty badly. much, it's pretty much like it's no longer a matter of if; it's a matter of when the party kind yeah. of like meets Elazarin's family. Yeah, That's gonna be a banger, and he's, dude. he's gonna, not looking forward to. He spent quite a lot of time away from his family, and like he he's on good terms with his family. Like he's not like estranged or anything like that. They mm -hmm. are a tight knit family. But he has been away for a while, and he's just like, yeah. It's that weird thing of like he doesn't have a bad relationship with his dad, but he doesn't particularly have a good one. No, it's just, it's you know, just very, it's just very like okay. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, they're very like yeah. Same with like his mom as well. He's very much like definitely is like gets on with his mom more, and definitely is like. Well, he's a mama's boy. Yeah, yeah, he's a mama's boy. He's not, he's not like huge. Surprised thing. that it allows me as a mama's boy. He's not like huge. He's not like <laughs> mother gets me this. He's just you know. Bye -bye. His dad was business focused. His mom was the one who was there. You know, like. Um, imagine getting on with your mother, man. Imagine, you know, right? dude. dude. When you were talking, dude. Okay, Robert, we'll get into that after. But like, I want to talk to you about some of that shit, Bell. Okay. Holy fuck. Um, <clears throat> it's a two-part question, by the way, Koiba. Uh, okay. What's Elazarin's next personal objective regarding the Nightwebs? He doesn't. Like, if he had a choice, what would he like to do next? <laughs> Elazarin hasn't really thought about it. Um, he is, as I say, he's still in. <coughs> Sorry, he's still processing everything that has happened with them. Mm -hmm. He kind of wants to get far away at the moment. That's like his objective is just I want to be away from them because I need to like. Yeah, but he knows as well that. And that he is very knows. Hard. <laughs> he knows that that like is an impossibility. He 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 is well aware. So, kind of why like, at like that point, being the, like, the whole pirate arc. Is actually kind of like a blessing it's in disguise good. for Elazarin. It, it, right? Elazarin is like, this is great, but he also knows that he can only run away for so long and that inaction isn't itself an action. So it's mm -hmm. like. Yeah, but that does give him some time to kind of yeah. collect his, his thoughts and shit, right? His main, like, next goal is probably just making sure his family are safe and, like, they're not going to die. That's his trying to get that secured and obviously with like there's that mining deal he's sort of trying to work out with you know with the with the yuan um 
-hmm. trying to get that, trying to basically just get his ground base sorted, and then he could just be like, cool, I don't have to deal with this anymore. This is your your problem now. Um, but yeah, because in, initially, huge, uh, when uh, you gave me, like, everyone gave me their, like, I, I told everyone at the beginning of the campaign, I was like, okay, make your characters, and I want you all to give me an objective they have, a reason for them to be in this new place. And Elazarin's objective was to set up some shit for the, like, family company and, and, and shit, so yeah, that's definitely... Um, yeah. The fact that that is in the works now, sort of, uh, in like the very, 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 very beginning stages, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's also, you know, a personal victory, kind of, right? Yeah. Uh, so he's happy about that. He's just like, fucking hell, he knows how long it's going to take. He knows there's no, yeah. like, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, he wants to be in quick, but he knows that, like, being in quick to him means, like, oh, a year. But to, like, you want to, that could be, like, a week, you know? It's that, mm -hmm. like, dichotomy yeah, almost. I mean like but... the last we left off with that was that you've, you've let your parents know and they would send like an envoy or some shit right yeah so, I told them send way. someone to Aldalon and then I'll uh, introduce them to the uh, yeah, exactly <clears throat> to the diplomats of <laughs> yeah 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 I think for Lazarin yeah. personally what I expect is that yeah you're gonna be busy during the pirate arc with like this whole like fucking umberly uh, bitch queen shit but I think that's Probably the safest, regard in regards to the Nightwebs, the safest place for Elazarin is the open sea. 100%. Away from any yeah. form of mainland. Clear the crew, make sure none of them are on the inside of that, you're good. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way no. they fucking get you or know where you are. Um, and uh, it gives him some time to kind of collect his thoughts and really like, okay, what do I want to do next? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to say, he's, he's in a lot of processing, a lot of healing at the moment. He, like... Yeah. This is a man who has gone unconscious and been on, like, the verge of death. Yeah, that's yeah. a rough time, because, like, yes, he's, he's gotten lot. his shit beat out of him a couple times in recent, yeah. uh, in recent Just combat. should be internet. He's had, like, this emotional roller like, coaster of shit with like... Valor, the fact that his family is somehow, like, tied into this elemental drama, or yeah. supposedly, with yeah. the override and whatever the fuck that yeah. all is. Like, he's yeah. gone through, he's gone through a lot, man. Literally, it's like, the shit that he thought was just made up is real. The th Things that he knew were real and now, like, not existing in the ways he thought they were. And that, like, he's also been fucking knocked for six, like, every fucking day. He's been beaten the shit out of him, like, lost consciousness. He's gone down. One fault, though. Yeah, yeah, the but saw, also... The saw, the saw blade out of the wall the trap, blade. dude. You know, he did but that. But that you know? doesn't help no, anymore, no, 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 because no. if anything, that was such a sudden death out of, like, such a sudden unconsciousness. It wasn't like, oh, I had a slog fight away. It was like, oh, I stepped forward and then I was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that is, if anything, that's, like, worse for him, because he's now, yeah, like, fair enough, fair enough. this mortal life I live on is now, like, <laughs> I could lose it in a second. Yeah. And it's just, no, like... I get you, I get you. This, this man's is... Yeah. We've seen a few panic attacks. <laughs> we'll probably see more. <laughs> um, Belle? Yeah? Question from Duke. Uh, did you know, out of character, that there would be some rare elemental disease killing the patriarchal, patriarchal homies when we started to interact with them? No! <laughs> oh, she didn't. No, <laughs> no, no she idea. didn't. I, I made a joke about it as well. Of like, when your DM thinks one genetic illness out of character is not enough. Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sorry. It's good storytelling. Um, it's great. <laughs> and it's just gonna get it and die horribly. I know, it's just gonna well, get it like, and die horribly. It's just gonna get it. Every air elemental has it. It's just yeah, a matter so of, she already has like, it. does it sur just... will it surface or not? Is is the question, because mm -hmm. it's in it's in Cass's system somewhere. It's just yeah. not active. Like it, it's dormant, whatever. Like and it might remain dormant for the rest of her life, but it might not. Since we don't know. It would be interesting if she did get it though, because like I mean, she's always always had the. It would definitely the uh, notion raise that she was the priority of finding that fucking years. flower. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and like having to face her own mortality for the first time in a really long time would probably also be a really interesting dynamic for her because, you know, yeah. she comes from a bunch of elves, so she's like, I'm gonna live the I'm gonna live forever, we. Yeah, I I have this all, like, written down. Like, I literally have, like, a five-page document on this disease and, like, so, like, it, it, we'll see. I'm M not gonna say anything. Man, we'll see. Man, we'll man it's just said. Advice. <laughs> just like, is it today? <laughs> Man's really just had five-page document about a genetic disease that Bell might get. That's that Kess might get. 
Not Belle. No, 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 Belle in real life is gonna fucking get it. It's Belle, yes, of course she's gonna get the thing a D &D character gets. I'm surprised she still has a fucking she's arm. She's gonna rock up the dungeon slags. Like the session <laughs> after it gets revealed that Kes, like, oh, the disease has her now. She's gonna just like fucking green face paint her neck and just rock up the dungeon slag that you way. You my joke it, like months I'm, before it would happen. I'm <laughs> what the hell? I was Dutch. gonna do that. Dutch, I'm shocked that Belle doesn't have a prosthetic arm after last campaign. <laughs> It didn't just. I didn't. I'm not that bell cut off. That it just fell off by its own volition. That like. Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. like, oh yeah, I got this rare disease. It just means my arm fell off. Like I just woke <laughs> up, and gone, <laughs> left I it mean, behind. In in a, in some way, her arm falls off a lot, right? The only thing that's keeping it attached is her skin and muscles. But the bone wise, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... Yeah. Ligaments holding it in place are like yeah. spaghetti. She's wild. Knees, weak, um, arms are heavy. I have a question too. Mm. You've you've kind of scratched the surface of, of Strathmore a little bit. Are there places or things you kind of want to explore more? Um, whether that's in the next few days or whenever you're there for the, you know, after the pirate arc or whatever. I do kind of want to go to the slums. Hmm. You mm. think you do, but you actually don't. I want Hess to go to the slums <laughs> and watch it, but I don't want to go to the slums. <laughs> I just want to see... Thanks. I... The idea of Kes going to any sort of dark underworld that isn't the fucking Lotus gang or fucking Red Lotus, whatever. Crimson Lotus, thank you very Crimson much. Crimson Lotus, fucking... I knew it was red. Right, Crimson Lotus, <laughs> right. Any um, that isn't that, to me, feels like Kes would think that she knows how underworlds work, but it's actually been in like such a nice sort of underworld environment that's rare. That when she goes <laughs> an actual, like... <laughs> Assassin's Guild or Rogue's Guild, whatever, it's just gonna be like, yeah, this is what we always do, guys. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and the thing no. is, as well, is that, like, Kes has this You're false sense of, Kes will have this false sense of security, like, yeah, I'm on the end of one of this kind of organization, yeah. I'll be fine. But then it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? oh no, this organization, like, hates any other organization, regardless, snap. You're gonna get shanked in an alleyway, is, one, is what I'm saying. I'm and already, I can't I've already wait shanked for a couple of you uh, this campaign, so I'll chill on that. <laughs> Kes is going oh. to get shot by a pepper box. <laughs> yeah, I was, well, well, was going to say it. Is it so we just hit? No experiences for the win. Point blank. Gonna, fucking... She's going to get taken out back of the shed with a shotgun she's at the back gonna, of her head. She's gonna fucking of, you're going to get off my cement, mate. Oh, think, no. about, think about the rabbit, Kes. <laughs> Look at the flowers. Look at the flowers. Yeah, dude. Oh, fuck. The alfalfa. Um, <laughs> are you guys ready to play a little game? A cool. game? Yes, uh, for those, we're playing a game called Um Actually, which is a YouTube channel that does a game show where uh, the hosts will read out a statement or several statements, and then the cast has to respond with Um Actually, and then correct the part of the statement that was wrong. Uh, you guys can collaborate on this, you can work together. Uh, I have three statement statements for you, and uh, it's up to you to, you know, Um Actually me, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you uh, an example. I'll, actually, uh... I'll give you an example just so that maybe like you know chat understands what I mean. So for example, Dungeons and Dragons has a lot of monsters that have been drawn from European folklore, such as kobolds, goblins, orcs, and trolls, but also has several monsters unique to D and D, such as the Tarask or the fearsome Grell. And you would then reply with, "Um, actually, orcs were invented by J.R.R. Tolkien from Middle Earth," because that part of this that part of the statement that I made was wrong, and you corrected it that way. You have to start your answer with, um, actually, because that's the name of the game. Um, but that's basically it. Is that clear? Did we get it? Yep. Good. Yep. Uh, I have three statements. The first one is as follows. Dungeon Dragons houses a variety of classes your character can be, from both melee to ranged classes, damaging and healing classes, from the original classes like Fighter, Cleric, and Rogue, to the newest class, Artificer. There's a lot of variety for people um, to choose from. Actually... Was Rogue wasn't an original class. It was Thief. My man. My man. Yeah, correct. Correct. Uh, the Rogue was one of the original classes, was later added as a replacement of the Thief class. Correct. I'll take it. All right. Damn, my boy. <laughs> I know my. I know like the I weird you. fucking shit from first edition. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. The king of um, actually people in Real outside life. of the game. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Yeah. All right. Statement number two. This is a long one, so I'll try to read slowly, but... Okay. Um, Dungeons & Dragons lets spellcasting classes comprise their spell lists from a vast library of spells of all levels. Some spells only require uh, VSM components, 
but some spells also require other components as well. So to cast a spell Acid Arrow or Magic Missile, for instance, you require no item components, whereas spells like Revivify and Agon Agonizar Scorcher, you need item components. I'm getting one of the fucking spells. One of the spells. I want to say, I'm um, actually Acid Arrow requires a uh, component. I think it requires, like, it requires something else other than VSM. Is that your answer? That is my answer. Bad. The Acid Arrow requires VSM. No, I know. more. You're correct. Yeah. Acid Arrow. I'm um, actually, Acid Arrow requires atom components, and they require powdered yeah. rhubarb leaf and an adder stomach. Yes, yeah, I knew it was something weird. I couldn't this remember what it was. This one is tricky because though. if you are used to having like component pouches and shit, you wouldn't know yeah, any components except I for just, monetary value ones, you know what I mean? I just remember the answer being one of those weird spells that's like, yeah, yeah it has weird shit in it. All right, you're, you're, you're two, out of two, two out of three, or two out of two, I guess. Thir third one coming up, last one. I'm, asshole. <laughs> what do you mean? I just know that. <laughs> it's like correcting people. Uh, Dungeon Dragons is home to a lot of different pantheons filled with deities. Some gods are based on real-life religion, such as, such as the ancient Egyptian gods, Norse gods, and Roman gods, but the majority are original creations, such as gods like Sylvanus, Selune, and Auril. What was the last ones? The made-up ones? <clears throat> Sylvanus, Selune, and Auril. Sylvanus and Selune, one of those two isn't. D and D, and I don't know which one it is. <laughs> I think, or it's that there's no. Ro it's either there's no Roman gods in D and D, which I think it might. But I think I'm um, actually. I think there's no Roman gods in D and D because they are based on planets. And I don't think there are Roman gods. I think it's Greek. Mm. Is one of the main ones. Greek, Norse, and Egyptian. That's that's why I'm gonna go for that. There's no room. Bella's here to watch these. <laughs> yeah. so, I don't know this... intricate details about D and D. Well, yeah. Fair enough. I'm not that lame. Well, that's why it's a team game, and Koiba can just carry it. You know. Yeah. Um, you are correct. It is indeed uh, ancient Roman pantheon. Whenever integrated into D and D, the Greek gods were. Yeah. 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 Correct. Damn. Three for three. Good job, Koiba. Oh. oh I shit. know weird D law. <laughs> Uh, did you enjoy that game? Because I, I definitely want yeah, like to... Uh, I feel like I'm actually... It's a show. Of course, like, fucking... There's one where they have Matt Mercer as a guest and they ask him a bunch of... Like, have do a bunch you of, like, seen D &D the fucking ones, one right? where they get, um, like, a picture and he has to prove what's wrong with it? And he... He picks stuff up that wasn't even one of the answers to the question that was wrong. Really? <laughs> like, they had, like, not, no. <laughs> they, they had, like... I think, I think they had, like, 18 things that were wrong. He found, like, 20. <laughs> And they're really? like, dude, he's such a yeah. fucking. And the person who makes it because Brendan Brendan Lee Mulligan like writes questions for that show. Yeah, hmm. and he was just like, Matt found an uh, answer that was not part of it, <laughs> but, but he is correct. He is correct. <laughs> <laughs> and what's great is that he... nerd, though. Like, let's be and what's great, real. It's finds great. all these things, and as always, <laughs> he got only got one point for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'll find, the, I'll find the clip for you there, Dutch. It's so good. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Send me that shit. All right. Um. Do you two have any questions or things you want to talk about? Anything in regards to the last few sessions or the campaign as a whole, or just anything that you want to know I want, from me? I mean, I want to clarify that that nosebleed was out of character. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't because he got the touch of a woman. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Well, we all know better, man. <laughs> Koiba might I have that bit. He's like, oh, girl. <laughs> but the last one. <laughs> Koiba had a nosebleed, and Lazarus popped a boner. <laughs> <laughs> only, only enough, it wasn't Kess hugging that. Yeah, it was uh, only because of Brooks's hug. Brooks's hug. Brooks, is hug. Yep. Brooks <laughs> hug from the front because he he actually their tips touched. Oh, little no fact. I mean, that, I would I would pop a boner too, dude. Yeah. Just growing a mustache. I'm just kind of growing a little bit of a like a like a, a little bit of a oh, yeah. goatee. You know, a little little goatee action going on, yeah. A little bit. No. It's getting there. It's getting there. That's actually something. Like, why did so? Kess and Lazarus haven't exactly had like an ex emotional, like mm. friendship, right? Sorry, yeah. Gogan. Kess and who? Kess, Kess and Lazarus yeah. haven't had like, and you know they've banned a bit. But when it comes to stuff, it's usually Lazarus thinking Kess is a fucking idiot. I need to tell how the world works. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. that it, he has a sort of teacher vibe, but like substitute teacher where like <laughs> can't control the class. That kind of like guys, mm -hmm. your real teacher will be here soon. What, like, 
made Kess suddenly have this like, oh, I need to like give him support somehow, or was it just Kess fucking around? <laughs> Because... She's actually just bullying you by being nice. Yeah, or was it just Kes being like, <laughs> Dude, you up. look like you're in a state of like thing. I know, I'll pretend to be nice in this moment. That's fucked up. Kes ha was like really sensitive, mostly just to like emotional shit that episode. Um. So, I mean, I mean, she also just knew that you weren't going to be okay. And she does like genuinely care about the people at the party. <laughs> and she was like... <laughs> I know, Oceans, or I have been feelings. told so far, that not being okay is alright, and you can do that, so maybe I should pass on this wisdom I have just learned. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna slam cut to, like, Kes just, cr like, uh, Lazarin crying on Kes's shoulder with, like, ice cream, like, hey, I do like, it. though, like, to kind of, like, <laughs> latch onto that, I do like, though, yeah. how there's definitely some, like, inner party, like, like, relationships f that, that that have been forming for, like, the, the, the past while mm. now, of, like, people getting more attached to each other and really creating that party vibe, um, because you're all very neutral, and the worry there is always like, dude, I mean, they, their characters could just decide to fuck off because they feel no attachment. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh no, Elijah's one of those people who he trusts far too fucking quickly sometimes, and he's yeah, just very much like, like on paper, this is my base. <laughs> like on paper, if you're good aligned, yeah. the, 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 uh, there's way more, you need way more reason to just this say, fuck it, I'm out. Whereas neutral, you can very easily just be like, hey, dude, listen, man, anyway, yeah. didn't sign up for this shit. But now I that mean, there's like, you know, we got we got Brooks and Kess that are pretty pretty fucking close, and we've got Elazarin and Davian, and like I guess uh, Elazarin also kind of slowly forming a, a, forming somewhat of a forming a bond with with Kess, but like in a very like like you said, like kind of this like feeling obligated to like correct her and, and and show her the way kind of thing um I think and then we you know fucking jackson Dygan kind of mingling yeah. and, and becoming closer and, and there's all these like inner party like relations that are starting to like bud and grow uh which i really like to see because i i i you know the, the like we're a family vibe is is starting yeah. to take shape you know it's starting to form. i i feel like as well and it's not a thought I've, I've kind of just had, basically, that, like, I think that Elazarin is trying to make up for the mistakes he sort of made with Serum when it came to teaching. And he's trying to, like, be an actual teacher and not just be like, this is how the world works, have fun, learn. He's going, yeah. no, Go right, on. I need to tell you this is not how it works, show you why, and hope it sinks in. However, who he's chosen to do that with is the person who's the most chaotic and just not gonna listen to that boring shit. Like, who's just not, like, that's not the type of teaching Kes like, is gonna respond to. I feel like she'll to. listen. I will care. She, I feel, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> Belle, but I feel like Kes will <laughs> listen and will appreciate the fact that you're giving her this knowledge of how this all works, but she'll never, ever fucking tell Elazarin that yeah. she appreciates it. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I mean, she, oh. does, she does kind of, like, if she has a question, she goes to a Lazarin, usually, yeah. if he's around. Um, or it's like, you'll say something be like, why can't we just do this? I'm like, because that's not how it fucking works. Because that's not how it works. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's like, I think the main, the hold up he has is the diplomatic community, where he's just like, I know this is a, this is a lesson I will never be able to teach them without sending Kess by herself, being like, have fun committing a crime and trying to use that one, dickhead. Go like very much alone by doing. And then we'll like, have a fucking uh, yeah, like law, Li lawsuit, pr prison yeah. break. Li lit yeah. Literally, it's the, he almost wants to commit a crime on purpose to frame Kess so Kess can't <laughs> use it. But then he knows it's either gonna come back on him or Kess will find a fucking way to whenever I think of... all that shit out, <laughs> and I'll be like. What the Son fuck? of a bitch, you didn't learn anything. Whenever if anything, like, it made it like, worse. Whenever I, th whenever I think of like, oh, dude, they're gonna, get, one of them is gonna get arrested. I always think to like campaign two of Critical Role when Bo was like, like very early on, Bo's like, help, 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 help. <laughs> like <laughs> like that, that is always like jumps to mind. Be like, I'd be like, I'm like, that is something that could very easily happen to like half of the I cast we got so far. To this I campaign. feel like, yeah. Legends probably one of the people to get arrested, more most like to get arrested. Because he'll just want to work with the authorities and be helpful, and they'll be like, "Well, then you're guilty." And he'll be like, "Ah." Uh... Yeah, did you just, did you just admit being being like a, a, 
at the, at the scene, you know, he'd be like, yeah. I was there, I was a witness, and like... Incriminating yourself, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was like, you're the only witness, we're thinking it's you. Oh, and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then try to bribe his way out, and there'd be an unbribable guard who's like super like <laughs> about the justice and about getting the like thing. He's like, oh, son of a fucking... So yeah. then, he's try then he gets done for bribing a guard, he's like, fucking yeah. hell. Whereas um, Kirsten, like Brixton, that will fucking have an escape plan and be able to charm their way out and be like, go. yeah, pretty yeah. much. Oh yeah, I just teleport out the cell. Lol. Why can't you do X that? XD. Um, I have a question for Bell, and we're not gonna yes. go into too much detail. Mm. Uh, but last session you had a little deafen where you talked, Kess talked to Father Dearest. Yeah. Uh, and that's like, dude, I'm I'm sad that the the, the other cast wasn't able to listen into this because it was emotional as fuck. It was. Where Kess, like, was, really opened up. And it was really sweet. Open up about, like, how... How her mother treated her. Uh, and shit. And it was super fucking, like, sag. Um, which, like, I was like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, because we had three and a half hours of dumb banter, and then suddenly... Mm. Da -da. And, and like, like, I had to, like, play fucking Dashu, and, and like, I was like, fuck, I was... Fuck. I, I, was, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. You know what I mean? But like, I think we 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 nailed, we did we did well. But we like, did. It, it went well. Fuck. I think well, like the letter thing is something she's thought about since she had the conversation with Brooks about him writing letters and then not sending them. Mm -hmm. And then a while later, Dashi was like, "I'll send a letter home for you." And she's like, "Oh, yeah, because that's the thing. Maybe he, I should he doesn't write know. One. He he doesn't know how he had no idea. how Mum treated Kess. Yeah, you know what I mean? He just assumed it was all good because like you know you're alive." You're, mm. you know, you know, you're you're doing well for yourself. You know what I mean? She's fine. And then you like open up that you you hit him with that bombshell, and he was he was like, oh, like he was angry. Yeah, <laughs> he was mad. Yeah. It and was... it's like one of those situations where like he's mad, but doesn't have the right to be because he wasn't around. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's gonna be interesting, and I'm, I'm he, I I I know how he's gonna do the whole letter delivery thing and he's gonna have some words and it's gonna be great and yeah because that's like part of the reason Kes was like maybe you should read this it was that and also a comedy made it ages ago about like it being easier to be blue in like the fair wild because it's like normal and she was like he doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> he likes huh. the critical information he mm. did he really did mm -hmm. and, and now he, does and so, now he doesn't yeah. <laughs> and of course like her being the most awkward and inept person was like how do i start this conversation just read this letter and, and <laughs> figure it out read this letter that i read that i wrote for you to deliver to my mom who fucking despises me by the way <laughs> 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 you know that bitch of a mom that i have yeah. who hates me and he's just like what? i mean literally what like that yeah. that's literally the, yeah. the, the uh, about as as much as that letter said right. just in a nicer <laughs> way Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, fucking hell. It's, um, it is that thing you're gonna you can give Dashi's letter and he's gonna change a lot of words, but like you motherfucking <laughs> son of a <laughs> just like oh. But it was like it was weird to her because like she's never had any reason like like to her she 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 should she just shouldn't be angry about it and like being angry is like a weird concept to her. She was like ah oh, that's just how I grew up and like is this how it is and I'm fine and like I wasn't hurt. Yeah, you are, bitch. <laughs> you <fucking idiot. laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you are. It's fine, guys. This is normal to me. Yeah, it's mean. such a weird thing for me as well with um, Kess is that, like, emotionally, she can be really passive and just sort of be vibing and then have these fucking outbursts of an emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Of, like, and which, it'll be over, like, is which cool. is so fucking cool. Because, like, obviously, like that spell that she, used, that she wasn't supposed to yeah. use because of spoken bonds, but yeah. like, this, like, yeah, it's like channeling the like emotions she's feeling deep inside and summoning this, like, yeah. fucking egg, sad yeah. shadow lady, fucking shit up. God, that fuck, like, that cool, is the man. type of thing where, like, cool, <laughs> a Lazarin doesn't know how to bring that up privately to be like, so that crying visage of that mm. elf lady we saw after yeah. you just told me about your past that we had a go at you about and you opened up to us quite deeply. And it was like it was almost like a session after you we had that conversation, right? Or two sessions after you used that spell for the first yeah. time. Very much, it's that like. So we gonna talk about that or? <laughs> but oh, yeah, again, like... but again, that is so awkward in the sense of like he doesn't bring it up because he's like, well, it's none of my business, really. But then he's also like, 
I want to fucking know what this bitch's deal is, man. <laughs> she's got, she's know. got, she's got issues. And if I'm anything, I'm a good listener. Because like she, she doesn't <laughs> seem like she had like on surface level anything traumatic really happened to her. She was very much like, ah, I can do whatever I want, and nothing's gonna ever hurt me because I'm untouchable. She, she is not. <laughs> yeah. she, she went through some shit. And and like, almost has the opposite. We're like, excuse me. Oof. Yeah, he had some stuff happen, and like, yeah, he was sold to a church, lol. But like, <laughs> was for the most, but for the most part, like, wasn't that bad a deal. Nah, plus, but now, you know, communication with his parents, and yeah, you know what I mean. But like, now, it like, wasn't like they abandoned him or anything. Yeah, yeah. But now that like past, <laughs> even though it was really good, is catching up with him, and it's yeah. like now he's feeling all of this shit now happening. Mm. Whereas Kess is obviously isn't. We don't know. She I don't doesn't know really have any is. like emotional Baggage impacts that she knows yeah. about, or that she feels like the fact that she should be angry is something that she's just kind of discovering. Mm -hmm. But like, she mostly just has complexes and issues that like have around, like come up from what she what she's experienced. So like, I mean, you know, she has this whole issue where like, if she makes even the smallest mistake, she's just gonna get dropped because, like. Which is fucking sad. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's like, anytime she makes how... a mistake, it's just like, she's just gonna get dropped. There's so much more to Kess than meets the eye, and, and Kess is really good at hiding that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But right. it's, it's slowly, it, it, it's slowly, that like, wall that she builds is slowly, slowly starting to crack a little bit and showing some, bit. some more. What I love the most yeah. about this is something I said, you know, one of the first things just got as we did is that Lajan thinks he's got Kess figured out. Like to a T. He a hundred like even now he's like, I was slightly off about this, but for the most part I'm still fucking right. Like yeah. I think, you I know, think if I super cut back to the episode, like there's the discourse yeah. episode where you said that and I laughed. Yeah. He very did, yeah. Hard. <laughs> and because I knew like cause I know as as a player out of character, I know that's wrong. I know there is so much more that's so layered, you know, mm -hmm. you can it never fully like understand the person. Document, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. But then, also, it's like, even when the legend is proven wrong yeah. completely, he would still be like, Kobe went right? big cam nah, for a second. Right. Kobe went big cam for a sec, because I, like, oh. I hovered my mouse over Discord, and I slammed my left mouse button into my keyboard, so it clicks, and I'm like, oh god, no. big Kobe. That's huge. I was like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> um, we're good, we're good. You know, I think that, like, a legend still feel like he's going to be right in the, in the end. Like, all the shit's coming out, and he'll be like, well... Yeah, duh, but <laughs> however, this has still meant that you're now this though, mm. so I was still technically correct. <laughs> yeah. Even when he <clears> like, <throat> gets proven wrong, he's gonna find some way to convince himself that he was right. Literally, even then. I wait, was no. right this whole time. But even then, he also be like, "Yeah, okay, I was wrong, but like, am I though?" Like, right. Like you know, like what, come a, on. what a prick. Yeah, he almost like I designed this character to be a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be the worst. Um, Literally, well, he's, like, he's a massive coward. He's, he's, he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, but like that's the thing about Elasma I like too, though, is like, yeah. there's a lot of layers to him as well. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what's what I mean? great like, is I, I had him <laughs> certain layers, like the cowardice I always had, and like that sort of like cunty but cares, but is definitely the cunt. Those are ones that I definitely like planned from the start and other layers I've gone like, actually, you know what? Yeah, this does make sense. So I've gone, I've made a decision earlier on. I've gone, actually, no. <clears throat> from now I'm on, actually. I'll play it this way. Um, actually, he's not like that. He's actually, uh... Um, I don't I'm not a cleric at all. Yeah, but I feel, like has, I feel like every D&D character in the history of D&D has, has layers and is, is way more Nicole didn't. I mean, <laughs> even Nicole had some depth to him. Yeah, no, he did. He did. <laughs> um... Did have originally, <laughs> and like he's on a list written by the Nightwebs. So like, what, what the fuck's that about? So you know, who knows? I can't wait. I know <laughs> it's probably not gonna happen, or at least not in like main campaign. It'll be like a one shot. I just can't wait to have to play both Nicole and Alastair. <laughs> I've been thinking of ways to kind of like, um, do like a crossover bit. Like because crossover fucking, be funny. because Nicole will probably fucking hate Alastair. Right? Here's the thing. Well, probably <laughs> like, like as far as like crossover <laughs> gags go. It'll probably be some kind of session where um, this current party has reached like a level of they're now like the voice of the empire or like yeah. the eyes of the empire in the new place, and they have to go to some fucking meeting and like 
some of the Heroes of Exile will also be there, and we'll have like half the crew play campaign two characters, and we'll have half the crew play campaign one characters, and that's kind of how that no, makes I want sense. Us, I want us all to play two characters that day. That's gonna be fucking. Re- that's gonna be fucking annoying as fuck, though. Be fucking yeah, that's. That's why I so said it'd we'll be a one shot. Like, we'll have like. Uh, you know, we'll have. Can Soko play Naronk? He just doesn't speak. Oh my god. No, we'll have Soko play Jax. We'll have Bell play Octanus. We'll have Laura play Kisaren or Trim. Trim. We'll have you play Elasian probably because Elasian is very politi- diplomatic and poli- uh, political, so I feel like that would yeah. fit Elasian very well. Definitely. Uh, Ethan would play Bar- would play Brooks because Bran is busy doing the Raven Queen, uh, and then Duke would. I think for Duke, I'd say please play Gen. Cool. Mm. Yeah. That's probably that would probably be the mix that I would choose. I think, yeah, I think like that. that would also be one that he could get away with also doing both. You know, if there was one person Gen. Yeah. With... But I think as far as like if I had yeah. to if I had yeah. a say in like if it's like a diplomatic political kind of set- setting, that would probably be the, the mix I would I would pick. Um now, fuck you know that I mean? <laughs> Getting the call in there. He's you know he's a political Actually, person. Uh, Nicole is in charge kind of, of Heroes of Exile, so maybe maybe yeah, fuck. Maybe you are the one that plays two characters. <laughs> that's that's what I was like. I was like, oh fuck. If anything, I'm a guild. Like, Shit. Maybe you would be the no. one to play two characters. Actually, fuck. You really you. would be. Because <laughs> I'd be there as like a head meeting, and then also a lesson like, there's politics going on. Get me in that meeting, yeah, dude. Right, I won't exactly. be in the room. And I won't be in the room where it happens. Has to be there because he's in charge of the guild. So like, yeah. fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. <laughs> Shit. Uh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Like at some point, fun. that's probably something that is in the books of like it's it's within oh, the realm yeah. of possibility. Oh, Not definitely. anytime soon, but it's within the realm of possibility. Oh yeah. Um, that'd be, that'd be fun. Be a fun man. Role. I am um, liking how this campaign is shaping up at the moment. Like really, yeah. Just. Me too. I really just, am enjoying this campaign so much. I know it's weird having this sort of freedom because like I'm not saying it's a bad thing. That last campaign, you know was very much this is our quest for doing it you know like this yeah. we had a main we very much were like main quest is like i want to do the msq main story no quest side no quest. side quest in main story <sighs> quest only i'm leveling up my character from main story quest let's fucking go we're in this has so much been like like that's a quest I haven't got. That's a quest I haven't got. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. Like I wanted oh, to quest. I, this I, is like my, the way pages. I'm writing this campaign is like there is a main story quest, absolutely, which you've kind yeah. of scratched the surface of a little bit yeah. now. Uh, but but I purposely wanted to be, be as open as possible and really have this feel like you're in a new world. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You can do things in whatever order you want to do. You can go to places whatever whatever you want. You can do. There's gonna be shit for you to do wherever the fuck you go. Uh, I like which the, is scary oh, because sometimes I feel like, am I overwhelming them with the amount of like side quests that are in their quest log I right think, now? You know what I mean? No, I, think, I love it. I, love I think there's like, so much shit in your quest log right now of yeah. things, that you, things that you could go do. That I'm I like, feel like sometimes it is. Them? Am I making it like, st- am I making a when mess? It's you know I mean? stuff, when yeah. it's time sensitive stuff. When it's time sensitive, that's when we start getting a bit like, oh fuck, hang yeah. on, we've got to do this and that and this. Um, but also like that's good because I think it's good. If we can't do everything, if yeah, we, no, we have made we have made a choice and it has that has consequences. Yeah. Not bad, doesn't have to look bad, like someone else could do it and it'll yeah, be fine. No, but it's definitely Or if know, we go one world, way the world lives and breathes around you as well. Exactly. So if if for instance I'm trying to think of a quest. Uh, the the, well, fucking, the, so, the fire fire gang, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I Left did not alone. weave um the like gem in there for the for for uh Davian. Yeah. And that would have yeah. just been a side story arc. If you chose to not do that, so yeah, more fucking farms are going to get burned. Yeah. yeah. And either A, it would eventually become this such a big threat that you're kind of forced to deal with it, but like they would be much stronger mm-hmm. because they had, you know, you they, they've through. had more time. Or B, fucking some other group of mercenaries would have gone and done yeah. it. Or even the Blue Sentinels. Like, the Blue Sentinels aren't... Like, this is... I think it's a problem D&D has in general was they... Guards are almost useless sometimes. No, like the, the thing about but you know what I mean. Like, like they like, very much protect and serve when it comes to yeah. the city and the city limits. But yeah. in the, out in the wild, hey man, only if you really have no, to. No, but like only in the really sense of to. like, or like the army in general, then would say. But the people who like they're supposed to protect the people, like D and D has this thing where they make guards to seem a bit like pussies in the sense of like, it's just a D and D thing. Like you look up yeah, guards and they're, yeah. they're a bit like it's a misconception. And not saying you do it. No, but it's, it's a misconception it's a, because I think I know yeah. where you're going. Yeah, but just but because like, they send a group of mercenaries to do one thing, like there's yeah. so much other shit going on. Exactly, that they that's what I'm saying. Like, doing, you know what I mean? Like, I think main. This is more from like main D and D books. Obviously, they have to be 
party centric and adventure yeah, focused yeah, yeah. rather than so in this homebrew world where we they say we don't deal with that the blue centers probably could fucking dealt with it if when they when it became this <laughs> side game closer and go okay this is now affecting our food in the city yeah 100 percent. and they probably they probably would be people who would put a stop to it yeah like the blue centers like, is a they're fucking as far as like army goes they're they're a fucking they're a force to be reckoned with exactly um, it's a shame that they're infiltrated by the Saucy Spider Gang, but like they're f even even mm. though they're infiltrated by the Saucy Spider Gang to a certain degree, they're still gonna have to protect and serve. They're still gonna have to yeah. deal with threats and protect the citizens. Uh, I, I do agree mm. with you there that there's a common misconception D and D where like oh city guards yeah. they're pussies. No, they're yeah. just like they have a list of twenty ongoing investigations All and, the, like, and threats to deal yeah. with, and they're like yeah we can outsource this one to this group of mercenaries that seem capable enough. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like I just yeah when it comes to the quest we got, I think it, it's really cool. I really like this direction. I really like this freedom. I feel bad for you when we you know we suddenly change like we say no, we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and then go sorry don't because like that's the thing is like but like right now off the top of my head including backstory centric stuff you guys mm. have like anywhere between five and ten things that you could do yeah. after you come back from the pirate arc because the pirate thing right now is the only time sensitive thing that you have the other other, yeah. other than that other dude than that. whatever yeah. and i'm very i'm excited because it's literally going to be pirate arc and then you'll have like nine quests in your quest log that are already that are already like started mm -hmm. and it's literally yeah. like what do you guys want to do yeah you're in yeah. strathmore you've dealt with pirate arc sea bitch bitch queen defeated Woo. Tri uh, the trident stolen handed to mm -hmm. captain vera yeah well, now what do we do because yeah. that would be that that's going to be a time where you literally have nothing time sensitive, or at least as far as you're aware. I mean, let me put it that way. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing time sensitive immediately in your quest log, as far as you're aware. And there are so many things you can do. Like there's backstory arcs that player characters can bring up and be like, "Hey, I've I've had this thing for a while, and it kind of." Or there is there is there side quest that you already picked up, or you can investigate the slums, or you can go mm -hmm. to fucking uh, random city and just try and see if you can clear them out of the clear the nightwebs out of there. There's so much shit, dude, and there's and that's the thing. There's so many places in Keldar so places. that you haven't yeah. even gone to yet, exactly. and then it, Keldar is just one province of like a 14 province continent where there's yeah. so much okay. room for activities, dude. We haven't yeah. unlocked the rest of the map. Literally. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're not on this level to do that yet. Yeah. And that's the cool thing as well, is that out of those like 14-ish provinces, top of my head, I think, it's, I think it's 14, only two of them are settled. The rest is all yeah. unexplored. Well, well, not unexplored, but unsettled territory. So that's when the real, like, you know, you're, you're, that... you're, you're, you're like, you're like the settlers going to America and you're in like New York and you're like, oh, yeah, this is Pog. And then you go further west, and you're like, "Oh, wait, there's more Ugh. than just New York yeah. Yeah. that we haven't gone I to yet." Fuck, you know what I mean? Can't, like, obviously, <clears throat> this is this is me guessing, in the sense of like, I can't wait to be set. We're obviously like we are having an elemental sort of base campaign currently. Yeah. Yes, that could change, but I'm we we right now we'll probably be set elementals yeah the, the, like, it would be great tone, to right? have to see that like wilderness and when the elements have not been touched by civilization just how wild they can get or mm. even like how barren they can be like to see these different elements all like why well, if there's not an element yeah, of water that's, in that's face a, and there's a, a desert thing, or if there is you know Lakes that's the everywhere thing, because you, you've been exposed to like this this weird thing that Daikin has of like yeah. you know this place of like yeah. there's water and snow but there's a desert and there's mountains yeah. and a volcano whatever the fuck like all this different like yeah. different climates in the same place like if that doesn't scream elemental fucking turmoil I don't know what does exactly. you know what I mean or like, yeah and I can't or, like, like I can't wait the ground of the different elementals yeah. to to, yeah. to meet and discuss but and, even like oh dude oh, mm. even that like just exploring just nature and just being like right yeah. what the fuck is like Dude, you're gonna, gonna see some Daddy's weird gonna, shit like, i feel like duke and Davin's gonna it's gonna be great for them to kind of like oh, yeah. the yeah. reins on i that can't wait to be a proper ranger and yeah. just go into the fucking wilderness and I just do some shit man do some shit, like yeah. that's the, there's so many possibilities you can put so many like elemental and planar things as well as like keep it on material plane of just like hey creatures evolved weirdly 
guess what? Here's this fucking creature who, which you actually know from your land, but looks completely fucking different here. You know, very like Galapagos Islands, very like yeah. It's just oh, like the it's beak like, of this bird is different because it's it has like, to. You it's know. like a pigeon, but like eight foot tall. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, because 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 the fruit it has to get is like yeah, yeah, so far yeah. away. Or it's, or it's, a, it's a fucking um, yeah. Well, I, I guess I kind of already yeah, kind bad. of sort of did that because like the way go yeah. Gorgons are in this campaign. Or it, True. in in D and D, they're like, yeah, they're steel bulls and they breathe poison, blah blah yeah. blah. But like, you only know bulls as in like the yeah. you know True. cow bulls, and this is like, True. the fuck, Metal, and and yeah. just like spins on normal creatures that are creatures that you yeah. do know, but not in this capacity. Um, yeah. You've had the, like the blood apes, I would say, is kind of also an example of that. Yeah, like you've that. seen monkeys yeah. and apes before, but not apes that yeah. fucking grow exactly. in size when they punch something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shit like that. That's so weird. Just like and or shit like. You know, um, you're in a fucking lake, mm? and this like fucking thousand year old fish that you you're like, what the fuck is this shit, dude? How is this alive? How does this exist? Why don't we have that? And then, but mm. because of the climate and how like well kept this place was, that's why these like super old species have been able to survive for so long yeah. because. No. So um, uh, I say it's a lot of potential, and I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for the future holds because it's so fucking much. Like I say, we are scratching the surface of this world. Yeah, barely. And like <laughs> we're fucking like we are level five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, you know, there's, there's a lot more still so much to do. There's a lot more campaign to to come. Uh, like, yeah. We're good for the next few years at least. So uh... <laughs> yeah. Um, even, no, this could be mobile campaigns in this one continent as well. Yeah, like, no, absolutely. Who is who is saying that's that? Definitely the plan. Absolutely. Yeah. There's way too much room for activities to fit into one campaign. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, like when I made this continent, I was like, I'm purposely gonna leave mm. a lot of it open because I don't want. Because like, my I won't say mistake. My oversight with campaign one was you've been to the kingdoms, you've been to Keldalar. Oh, that's too. That's the two like main province, the main continents already ticked off. Fuck. Now yeah. where do I go? with them mm. that's surprising and cool and, and and fresh and i was like i'll make a new continent then fuck it i guess why was the continent not there yet it's all oh, some elemental shit that it, it was hidden and suddenly it's there yeah whatever and that's kind of also a part of the story of like the campaign like how did this why why now um <clears throat> and like i made i it's it's the biggest continent we have it's bigger than it's bigger than the empire and the kingdoms combined and that is with good reason because I mm. want this to be able to be to feel new and exciting for not just this campaign, but a, the potential next one as well. Um, question for all: Who would be your dream guest star if you would have anyone? Oh, dude, if I if we could get anyone from Critical Role, that would be fucking pff. yeah, dude. If I could get Matt Mercer to play in my campaign, dude, I uh, that's dude. If I could get Matt Mercer to play in my campaign, bro, holy fuck, dude. friendly Mulligan or like Lou Wilson, one of those two, mm. one of the. If, I, if we if we that's that's take away from like, if we say like friends if we if we take away like hmm? yeah celebrities take away like non D we'll see like non D D players right non like D &D, oh almost oh like if you have got friends with D D you know what I mean but you know what I mean like non I think... if you say celebrities who like maybe aren't in that yeah you know, like your Joe Ooh, Manganiello like... your your Crook Rolls that yeah yeah okay as, as far as like celebs go I. Fucking Ryan Reynolds, Matt bro. Mercer, dude. But uh, like, Ryan some, like A, A list star celebrities, dude. Yeah. I think someone having someone like um Dude, I think Ben Stiller would be great to have. Ben Stiller. Oh my yeah. god. Right? Ben Imagine Stiller. Imagine Ben Ben Stiller would be fucking amazing. Imagine oh, Ben good. Stiller, but when he plays his role that he played in the Pick of Destiny. <laughs> Just like that music, that like that that type of thing, he'd be so fucking good. Uh as far as friends go, um there's a there's a waiting list of of, of guests yes. for Dungeon Select. But I still, to this day, would love for Daft Brit. Because oh, he was supposed same. to guest early in campaign one. Life happened, it couldn't happen, yeah. and it hasn't happened since. I would love to get Daft Brit to play a couple sessions with us and him to be like the mo as northern as he can be. Yeah. Brit or, <laughs> Brit or Profane. Literally, I'd love you played The Witcher so 3, the, the like red or the, blood, the Bloody Baron, you Witcher 3. Yeah. That's, that's Daft, literally. Imagine Daff doing his full Sean being like bastard, right? Oh my <laughs> fucking god! Um, Di dies every session, comes a new character, just like. What's your list, Bell? Who would you like to see? Um, both celebrity, but also someone like like just a friend. Um, oh, dude, I, I mean, obviously, 
get it one from Critical Role would be cool as hell. Yes, no, it would be pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Just mm, out of my friends, probably Sassy. Just because she would create the most batshit crazy character. <laughs> And I would True. love to see it. True. Oh, oh, change my answer. Just Bell's mom. Cast. Bell's mom. Oh my god. Morgan, <laughs> Morgan, our role is twenty. With Koi by the other day, there was like, oh my so god, cool yeah. To do like a, a DS D Dungeon Select family plays, and then we'll have like your mom, fucking Koiba's dad, Duke's dad, or whatever, and like them get together and, and like I'll DM and they'll oh. play or whatever. That'd be funny as fuck. It'd be funny as fuck. My mom was super excited when I started playing D and D because she used to play it when she was younger. Fuck. And she was like, oh yeah. yeah have, like, uh, mom's playing D &D, my mom's playing D &D she well. told me they basically just fought in brawl like in tavern brawls, and that was the entirety of their game was just going It'd be in so taverns cool to, to just like fights. find a relative of every cast member that is into D, &D and have them uh play D, D like on the DS that'd be fucking funny as fuck. So but funny. Jack Black is a player if I would DM something against Shatter. Dude, Jack Black would be fucking awesome as well, yeah. Fuck. Jack Black is a DM. Cool. Speaking of guests, I'm gonna make the announcement now. Yo. This Sunday we have a guest. You heard oh. it first, guys. Koi already knows because it got spoiled on accident. But um, man, this like, Sunday you know, this person's guest. we're going to be joined by a guest who's going to be with us for the foreseeable oh. future, pretty much the entirety of the of the, the pirate arc. But he's going to be here this Sunday to pirate probably help you guys with whatever you guys are going to do or meet and we whatever. We have a pronoun. <laughs> um, it's old Shadow Geek. Hey! Yay! I got told oh, she's gonna early be joining us this Sunday. After uh, being the post, you didn't want to know. Yay! <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'll add you to the DS uh, group after I'm done streaming here, uh, Shatter. Uh, and I do need no, you. No, do, do it on Sunday. Do it on Sunday. Do it on Sunday, just like the day of. I mean, it's announced yeah. here. Like, they can watch this back and. You know, yeah, fuck them, do it on Sunday. It's like a test. Okay, <laughs> fuck them, do it fair, fair, it's like a test. Okay, I like <laughs> that. I like test. that. Um, no one told I you. do need uh, you, Shatter. At some point, uh, to hop on a call with me because I want to run you through some like final things to make sure that everything is ready. I need you to um, make a character first, though. No, he, <laughs> he, has, a char he has a character. No, yeah. we've, dude, we've been talking about this yeah, for no. months, motherfucker. Yeah, no. So like, he's ready. It's just I need to make sure I need to make sure that everything, you know, you know, items and and just like a uh, find a reason for him to already be in the city before the pirate ship gets there. Um, and like, how is he gonna? Where is he gonna meet you guys? And what not um make sure that, that that's all set up but that's only that'll only take like half an hour or something shatter so i need you at some point to talk about that uh, before sunday um other than that yeah shatter's gonna be and he's gonna be with us for the entirety of the of, of, of pirate arc pretty much so however long that I takes i can't wait for us to be tpk like session one so shatter's gonna be uh oh, it's gonna be like, part of the ds crew for the foreseeable future guys it's gonna be fucking woo. pog man i can't wait to be betrayed by another person from the netherlands <laughs> Listen, I've been betrayed by 92 now, motherfucker. Like, I'm I'm with you now. I'm on camp, it's you not guys. the same. It's not the not same. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you were part of it. You <laughs> Why are you gonna <laughs> Okay. Well, in that, with that logic, Laura can't complain anymore. Because yeah. she set me up. Right? Yeah. No, Is that yeah, fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that works. Okay. But you still hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> My pain is still real. All right. Um, I think... That's gonna be that's gonna be it for today's discourse. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys had fun. It was a good one, I feel like. Yeah. Is this the time where I add the spider web tattoo to my character? Ugh, shh. That's how you get pushed off a boat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we'll be here, uh, we'll be on Laura's channel on Saturday for the session and two I of Call of the Deep, and we'll be here on Sunday for session thirty-eight of Dungeon Select Elements of Keldar. Baby. Yeah. Um, Woo! good times, good vibes, and uh catch you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. What are you doing? I don't know. I'll more hearts. Okay. You're already on the thank you screen. Sorry, you fucked it. <laughs> du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 now slowly, like, fade out. Just like. Bom, bom.